Hi, it's Justin Prime. Welcome to my weekly episode, wherein I take stock of my progress through the week and do a few other nifty things. This is episode number 16. Welcome to the J Prime Cast. Welcome to anybody who's new and welcome back to those of you that have uh, been with me for a little bit now. I think I'm in, uh, this is episode 16, so that'll be four months solid of the J Prime cast. Yeah, I know I know a bunch of people have uh, been around and listened to everything, so thank you guys. That means a lot to me. So who am I talking to today, tonight? The last person in my Instagram feed is at Mr. Haha underscore Haha. Name is James, and his bio says only the creator. And there's some sort of symbol that my Android phone uh, does not show me. It's a, yeah, so I don't know what that is. But it's just an X. That's all I see. So James, the creator, thank you for um, interacting with me. I think it looks like you liked my recent gem sketch. Uh, James Looks like he's a cre- well creator, obviously. Looks like he's into cosplay and pretty darn good at it. There's a pretty cool, very cool um, Venom mask that he stuck onto a baby <laughs> with a pacifier in it. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, thank you, man. Um, I appreciate you interacting with me. And uh, I'm assuming, yeah, being a follower. Thank you, man. So, announcements. Uh, as always, uh, I guess I'm asking this every time now. I don't feel right asking this, but it really does help. Uh, for apparently, if you rate on iTunes, uh, most of the people who listen to this are on iTunes or listening on iTunes. Um, if that's you, it would, it would be really helpful if you would give me a rating. Uh, just, just be honest. I don't care. I mean, I'm not asking for positive ratings or whatever. It's just be honest. Uh, but yeah, the, leaving ratings, um, I hear really helps out in how uh, I show up in the rankings. So if you want to pitch in and help me out, that'd be great. Another announcement is uh, number two. Oh, um, June tunes still going on because we're in, because we're in June. Uh, so pitch in on June tunes, get your favorite cartoon character. I'm, tr- I'm uh, sticking with eighties um, as I do it, you know, here and there. Uh, but it's it's one of those, you know, there's a lot of these monthly things, but this is a pretty cool one because it's um, cartoons. <laughs> I like it, so perfect for me. Yeah, June 2 is still going on. Third announcement, Killer Wolf is coming uh, and very soon. And that doesn't sound right, but Killer Wolf is on the way. Let's put it that way. Killer, <laughs> Killer Wolf is on the way. Um, you can listen to my most, besides this one, the episode right before this, what it's called Killer Wolf planning with um, Lee from CXC, Comic Central. Give that a listen if you want to learn more about Killer Wolf. But the basic idea is that it's a script that I wrote out. Um, pretty loose script, but it's you know it's a but it's it's done. It just needs uh, someone to uh, tweak it and um, draw it out if they want to or pitch in however they want. It's a community script that you guys can do whatever you want with it. It'll be on Comic Central pretty soon. I'm not sure the exact date. Um, I gave, I gave Lee my character layouts. I had done, I had done like three different versions of Killer Wolf. Basically, just different. Um, the weapons are the same, but the the way he stores the weapons, there's three different options. Otherwise, they're all the same. Um, so yeah, I donated the script and three character options, but no one's limited to those whatsoever. And I emailed those to, oops, drop my phone. I emailed those to Lee today. Uh, and so she has everything. She has a script. She has the um, the character layouts. And uh, hopefully that's good enough. And it's just, it's in her court now. It's, it's with Comic Central. And I'm looking forward to that. So it's coming soon. Uh, if I was you, I would check back. Or follow Comic Central, first off. 
on Instagram. Check the website. See if the keep checking. See if they have announcements. Once I know more about it, I will absolutely let you guys know. I'm really excited about that. I hope that's a big hit. Um, I, I actually, I, I, I mean, of course, I want it to be, to be a big hit, but I really, I just want someone who wants to create something and doesn't have a script to be able to say, okay, no, I have a script, and there goes that excuse, and then to go create it. That's what I want. I want to see that. Or if someone who's interested in writing to take my script and improve it. Um, yeah, that's. I just I want to see people grow and win. And hopefully it's a big hit. But if I can get you know if a few people can grow and win and that, you know, that, for me that's just, that's a success. But you know of course I want something bigger than that. I want I want uh, I want this to be a big thing for Comic Central and for a whole bunch of creators out there. That's that's the hope. So yeah, C- Killer Wolf is on the way. All right, my major goal. So I've uh, remember I've eliminated the topical commentary that's gone, and I'm jumping straight to the artist inventory challenge. My goal has been to get this podcast, this weekly one, down to like 30 minutes. And that last week, actually, last two weeks, that didn't happen at all. Last week was almost an hour. Um, I, I just I went more in depth into my week, so I don't know. We'll see what happens this week. I almost I almost didn't do my format this week. I almost did another um, just sort of you know off off the uh, off the cuff um, and completely unscripted, unoutlined sort of uh, thought dump kind of like I did with episode nine where I was uh, realizing I didn't want to do sculpture stories anymore. And I'm not at that place at all. That's not the issue here. I just, I don't know. I feel like this past week I didn't get a whole lot done, which I'll talk more about, but um, I don't know. It's, it's it just not, it was, it's not like a, one of those heavy thoughts ones, but I just felt like I needed to kind of cleanse my mind, I guess, and just talk. And ultimately I decided to stick with with the format. And uh, if I have something to say, I'll, I'll fill it in as I go. But yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't get enough. I think it's why I didn't get enough creativity time this this week. I uh, yeah. And if if I don't, if I don't get enough, I feel the need to kind of just kind of purge, you know. Um, meaning sketch a lot, or I've discovered writing my thoughts in a blog um, thought stream really help. And I think with the podcast, the same kind of function, just to kind of cleanse my mind, because because usually through drawing, through creating, that's how I do that. And I I didn't get to do nearly enough of that this week. So my projects are Astro Pig. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm not that I'm not that far yet. My major goals. Let's start there. My major goals are getting Astro Pig finished, published. That's the that's the first well the first two things, but my major goal for Astro Pig is I'd like to see him, you know, on merchandise. I you know I want to see him get a movie deal or a cartoon deal or something. I want Astro Pig to be a big deal. I want it to be a big deal. But uh, yeah, so community building is my second major goal. I'm doing that through the Discord community, through this podcast, um, through my relationship with Comic Central. And uh, now through Killer Wolf, donating that. So community building and then uh, mentorship is another major goal of mine. My time with Brendan is winding down, I think, in July. So you'll you'll be getting our last um, one, maybe two episodes pretty soon. It's kind of sad. But it's time. And then I'll be looking to take on a new mentee, someone I could talk to, talk with, every month or so. Um, I, I, I like, I like that a lot. I like the, you know, hope seeing someone grow and, and hoping that I can be a part of that, which is really what mentorship is all about, right? The ops. To, oh, so the, my, my projects. So those are my major goals. My projects are Astro pig and community building. The, let's go over the obstacles first. The obstacles for Astro pig. I finished the cloud double page spread. So I have a double page of um, like a landscape. It's rolling hills with these clouds uh, all over the place. I finished that early in the week and then nothing. I didn't finish or even start another page after that. I 
Well, I, I started, I attempted, I sketched, I sketched out a couple of uh, rough ideas for it, and then it just stopped. I just, I got stuck. I, I, um, I think part of the issue was I got intimidated by it. Um, I don't know why. I don't know because things have been rolling really well, but I, I do think um, I felt a little intimidated. And I don't know how to say more about that, but I think that kind of feeling is there. Um, doubt set in for some reason. Like I couldn't handle the uh, page. You know, what's funny is I don't know why, because I, I didn't have a clear picture of how I wanted it to look. I have one thing in my script, which I didn't like anymore. And then I had um, sketched out an initial thought, uh, or you know, a while ago, and I didn't like that anymore. So I don't know. It's interesting that I didn't know what I wanted to look like. And rather than solving the problem, these feelings came over me. These feelings of uh, doubt and insecurity and intimidation. It's weird. It's funny. Interesting. That if I, since I didn't have a plan, uh, these anxieties, these, these insecurities crept up to fill in that, uh, that space, that void. Huh. So the way to solve that would obviously be to come up with a plan about it or like I've been doing, I have the answer. I have the answer. The answer has been what I've been doing this whole time, which is just move on to the next thing so that I keep rolling and I can definitely do that. But I didn't, I didn't do that. I just got stuck, man. It just sucks. I, the past few weeks I've been talking about how my process has been. If I get stuck to just keep going to the next thing that I know that I'm going to do. But for some reason this week I just got stuck and I stayed there. And I, you know, I'm not exactly sure why that is. I think um, this has been a pretty busy week all around. Um, so there's always something to do, you know, with family or work or whatever. So, yeah, I, I got stuck and I stayed there. And I found myself uh, a couple times just staring at the screen and not knowing what to do. Um, like I said, I did try one or two options and didn't like it and all these questions popped up it didn't make sense i think part of that i realized as i was um, thinking about this tonight part of the reason was because i don't know there, so there's a giant uh, in, in my story there's a giant that's um, coming up pretty soon that astro pig is going to be interacting with and i don't know the size i know what he looks like but i don't know the size of the giant compared to the environment um, or the twerps that are on the page also. And I don't know what kind of damage the giant would cause because the giant is not an antagonist. He's just the problem of, of the book. So I don't know his size. I don't know what kind of damage he would cause. Honestly, I don't really know what the environment looks like. Um, and since I don't know that, I don't know how the twerps, the villagers are going to react to all that or how they would adapt to the situation, I have this idea that they live underground as a way to hide from the giant um, because he's stomping all around. But really, they belong in trees. And in my head, the giant was knocking all was stomping down all the trees. But to stomp on a tree, you have to be just absolutely ridiculously huge. So it should be more like he is uh, sifting through the trees, but not really knocking them all over. You know, that would make more sense. So I, that's, 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 but that's where I'm at. That's the best I can do. So I think the way to, to do this then is to really do a size comparison, maybe of the giant versus the environment. And as I'm thinking about it right now, I think I know what the environment should look like. Um, I want to do purple trees. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Purple trees popped in my head. I think I got that from. There's a show called um, True. I think it's called True. It's, on, it's a Netflix original. True and the Rainbow something or other that my son's been watching. It's actually a really interesting show. They have some really cool designs. Super colorful. It's a really good inspiration. Um, and they have these. They have they use purple really well. So I think I want to get try you know try my hand at that. Use get some purple trees in there. So um, anyhow, yeah, a size comparison might be a good idea. But I think what I want to do is rather than showing a destroyed environment is to show it the giant's footprint in the ground. I think that'd be a good transition from the previous page, which was a big landscape one. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about that later on, I guess.
yeah. So yeah, the obstacle here was I got stuck. That's the point. Sorry, I got lost in my own train of thought there. Um, I got stuck. I got stuck, and I didn't. I didn't really do anything about it. Like that. Honestly, kind of upsets me right now that I think about it. I just feel like I failed the whole week. <sighs> it's easy to get down on yourself, isn't it? I didn't ask for help. That upsets me because I have a community that I can turn to. I don't know why I did. I don't know why uh, I didn't you know, ask for feedback or ask for help. Maybe just a pride issue, which is dumb. Uh, and there I go judging myself for that too. See, I can't. Once you get in it, like it's hard to get out. And I, I noticed this week, and a couple of the people in the in the group said the same thing that they've been just off. Their week is off. And I think that I, once I got stuck, I think I'm still stuck now that I think about it. Yeah, I really got to get out of this. So I didn't ask for help or feedback from the community, even though I have a group of really talented, imaginative, creative people. That just should have done that, obviously. And I didn't move on to the next thing. That, that has been my process. That's been what's working is to go to the next thing. And I didn't do that. I just let myself stay stuck, which is surprising. Um. So that, that's one obviously huge issue is I got stuck and stayed there. Um, the other obstacle, and this, I don't want to call this an obstacle because this is my choice and it's a, it's a whole other thing that I am really excited about, which is Killer Wolf. I put a, I put a pretty good amount of focus into Killer Wolf. Um, I talked to Lee last week. Last week? Yeah. Um, no, well, I, I, yeah, I think it was last week. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> I told her I was going to get her the layouts and the final script, and I... Um, I wanted to make sure I did that as soon as possible. So I, uh, I, I made that a priority. Um, I really don't want to lag on that. So that Killer Wolf became, probably came the focus of, um, of this past week. I, I did have time. I could have done more with Astro Pig. Uh, I, I could have, and I didn't because I got stuck. So Killer Wolf was my focus. This past week, I also didn't I didn't push myself to like stay up later. Usually I do, but there were a couple nights where I just kind of I, I was just kind of done. Um, it's been a long week. I don't know. It's been a long week. All right, so yeah, Killer Wolf was was my focus, but that was done um, probably t- Wednesday, maybe. So I had time. I had time. I did a few. I think two two June tunes. Um. That's funny, like, and even one of them I did, uh, I did Skeletor, I think, this week. Was it this week? I think it was this week. And that came out really, I, I, thought, I thought it came out really good. I, I enjoyed the way it came out and, and drawing it. It was actually perfect for what I was feeling in the moment. Yeah, that was this week. I was feeling pretty frustrated that night, and that was, Skeletor was perfect. And then Jem, I drew um, a couple nights ago, I believe, and it it took way too long. But I wouldn't let it go. I just I wouldn't give up on it. Um, I should have honestly, and I think I used that. I mean that that could have been Astro Pig time, but I didn't. Um, I kept rolling with it, and I really wanted to make Gem work. And I think it came out okay. Got some good feedback on it. Uh, so yeah, I did, I did a couple of the June tunes, and I I knew I was frustrated and stuck on Astro Pig. So rather than solving that problem, which I should have done, I Attempted to clear my mind through sketching, which really usually kind of helps out to help me kind of process my thoughts and my stuckness. And um, but I spent too much time on it. I didn't sketch and then move on. I I I I, I, um, I put too much time into it, especially with, well, really with Jem. So yeah, I just I don't know. I feel like I failed this week. The community building. Obstacles for community building. I didn't put the time into social media this week. I didn't. Usually I will look up hashtags and interact with people and leave comments and hearts and whatnot. And I didn't do that. I don't think at all. On either Astro Pig or the Art of Justin Prime accounts. Man, this is this is a crummy week. Astro's growth. Like he might have... Uh, 48 followers, almost 50. That's like nothing. He he went up five followers since this last week. That's not going to cut it. Um, so the growth has slowed down a lot. I th- 
I think a lot of that is due to him not interacting with people because I, I do the same thing with his account. So yeah, there's just there, there's no outreach, so people don't know he exists. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I don't know why I didn't do that. There were times where I got distracted on Instagram with their recommend man their recommendations when you go to the search function and they recommend things you might like. Man, they are on it. They know exactly what I like. <laughs> It's all like Avengers and Sp- Spider-Man stuff. And it, it totally sucks me in. So I my focus was just not there. Usually I will do that outreach stuff. Um, you know, basically whenever I am have my phone and nothing to do, I just didn't do it. Like I, I can't take a week off like that. If I'm taking this stuff seriously, I can't I can't do that. Um, so Astro Pig and Justin Prime, the the art of Justin Prime, the growth was like next to none. I think on the art of Justin Prime, I think I lost overall lost a handful of followers, which I don't mind as long as I'm gaining people that are into what I'm doing. But I did gain some people, but I think that was because of the June Tune sketching. So they enjoy my artwork, but they aren't necessarily Astro Pig or podcast fans, and that you know that bugs me. Um, because it's not a true f- reflection of of people's interest in what I'm interested in. But, you know, whatever. It's a minor complaint. I'll let it go for now. So in general, also this week, just like in general, there was some uh, just, you know, life obstacles. And I don't like calling these obstacles, but these are uh, things that i got to put my time and energy into. Just family life stuff. My daughter's doing swim, and my God, they practice every night. Um, they have they have these swim um, competitions that go on for like four hours. Uh, it's like there's a baby shower. There, I got two births coming up. Both of my brothers have are having babies. Well, they're not. Their wives are. That's June and July, so that's coming up really quick. Um, my nanny, my grandmother. Nani's having a birthday, turning 97. That's coming up. Uh, Bella, her, my daughter, had, her friend had a birthday party today. I had to go shopping for groceries while, my, while Renee, my wife, took her to the birthday party. Tons of housework today. I vacuumed the ceiling. I vacuumed the vents because, I don't know, because of coffee and uh, things bugging me, I guess, stress. Um, but you know, during the weekends, I don't do any drawing at all. The weekend time is family time and house time. So I had lots of really good time with my son. That was awesome. And a lot of cleaning. Like, yeah, wait, probably made, maybe too much cleaning. I don't think so though. Cobwebs, that is, cobwebs, cobwebs are bothering me. I don't think I've done those since we moved in. <laughs> I think my wife was at Target shopping for food while I was doing that. And then I went to Safeway and shop for more food later on. Craziness. All right. Uh, successes. All right. Well, I've got down on myself a lot this week. Um, well, actually, not this week, but right now. <laughs> a lot of negative stuff, it feels like. It just, and again, I feel like this this week I just failed. Um, but there are some good things here. Uh, Astro Pig, I think I have a solution. Like I mentioned before, I think I have a solution for the pages I am stuck on which is to go with the footprint. And I think the benefit here is that the landscape idea wasn't clicking. I think I do have an idea for that as well with the purple trees. It's just a place to start at least. So the landscape wasn't clicking. So maybe I just shouldn't be doing a landscape page. Maybe, maybe it needs to become something else. And I've been wanting to like really zoom in and do a closer thing because I've been doing a lot of zoomed out things. So doing a footprint is, is a really good opportunity to show um, smaller creatures or bugs on this planet. If I can get that close, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I think it's a good change of pace visually. There's a different sense of depth there if I can pull it off. So I think a footprint is a good way to go. And the landscape thing, it just wasn't working. I, I, I tried, I attempted sketching out trees that had been like falling over. It just didn't look right to me at all. Um, and again, I, I didn't know if they would fall over, if, if the giant is knocking them over or breaking them in half or just weaving through them. I don't know. That's stuff I should figure out. It's just little, those little story elements. With community building, 
the successes. Uh, Killer Wolf, I think, is a big so far. Just the fact that I, I made it and donated it and that Comic Central is excited about it. Um, I, I consider that a big win just so far. Just a big success so far. I really am curious to see how it does. But my relationship with Comic Central, I think, is strengthening. And, uh, you know, to, to be associated with uh, a respectable brand like Comic Central with this community that I'm trying to build is really kind of perfect. Um, also, another big success here is that, you know, when, when this launches, um, other creators, other independent creators are going are gonna to know the name Justin Prime in a positive, hopefully selfless way. I hope people know me as that. Like, this guy helped me to unclog my creativity or gave me some inspiration with this cool script because I couldn't think of one or whatever. So hopefully my name's getting out there in a positive way. That's what I want. So potential, that's a potential win. It's not quite there yet. And these people are going to hear about the podcast and uh, you know anyone and everyone that participates in the Killer Wolf Project is going to be a part of building this independent community that I want to do. Not just for myself, but for all of us, you know, that's, that's what I mean. The goals for the week. You know, I realize that I'm not really doing a very good job anymore of sticking to my weekly goals. I'm, uh, like last week, the one of the goals was to um, to work, to keep the same pace on Astropig. And that didn't happen at all. So it's, it's more like I, I noticed that the way I work week to week, I'm more working on like whatever I can in the moment. Like I mentioned, the social media outreach. I don't set aside time to do that. I do that when I'm like in line at Safeway or at Kaiser uh, picking up prescriptions, you know, or um, maybe as my son is falling asleep, although that's really more drawing time. <laughs> so I just, you know, whatever moment I'm in, I look at it and I'm like, okay, what can I accomplish? And that's how I choose what I'm doing. It's, I can't, I'm not really like sticking to, I don't, I can't set up a structure because I, I, my nights don't always look the same. I, I can set up like, these are my podcasting nights. So Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday, those are my podcasting nights. I can do that and set up an inter- interview for those nights, you know? But the other nights are supposed to be for my wife or on the weekends, hanging out with my daughter or something. And those are a little bit more unpredictable. I, I, you know, I can come down here after they fall asleep, but if they fall asleep late, then I might too. And it's, I don't know. It's just, and then on the weekends, there's always something going on. It's family time. I can't really set aside weekend daytime for art, unfortunately. I don't, I don't know if I really want to. I mean, it's family time. And then I have a career. So yeah, it's just, it really comes down to the night to evenings. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's hard to set up a st- structure I can stick to. I, I find that I'm actually sticking more to la- the Lab 5 weekly challenges. Um, I think I've been doing those more regularly than my goals almost. I think a part of that, there's a few reasons. I think there's a social component to that because the, in the Discord community, we um, the, the challenges are really fun and I think we, we all get excited about that. Um, there's a competitive, or at, least, at least to me, there's a competitive element to these um, because uh, I like to see what other people come up with and see if I can come up with, uh, especially during one of the first ones, I think, where we were killing off each other's characters. There was definitely a big competitive element to that for me. Uh, yeah, so there's a competitive thing. There's a social thing. And then seeing other people improve and, and how fast they're working on these things. And, you know, so I'll, I think the lab five weekly challenges are really helpful for me. And then I'm actually taking those seriously enough to where I make sure to do them, you know, for all those reasons. So I don't, I don't know if that could bleed over to my weekly, just Astro pick. I don't know if I can implement those. I wonder if there's a way I'll have to think on that. Um, I think maybe what I need to do is to think about what I can realistically achieve because I can't guarantee that I'll have even 30 minutes a day to work on something. Especially like when you have kids, you, you can't bank on that time. You can't, you can't like, I just, 
my kids might get sick tomorrow and be thrown up all night. Or my wife. And something I haven't mentioned before, I don't think, is that my wife has some medical issues that um, really kind of require me to step up in, in different ways. So I can't always count on her to be well enough to take care of the kids. Um, I do most of the, of the parenting and, and whatnot. Um, and she's, she's awesome and she definitely steps up and is a part of everything we do here as a family. But I, I do, I take on a lot, I would say. And I, I think she agrees. So yeah, her health is not always a definite thing. So I don't know, I, maybe I need to look at what I can realistically achieve and build a structure from there. I don't know, how, I have no idea how I would do that. So what's the goal for the week? Dang, I don't, I don't know if there is one. I, I, obviously, I want to keep on working on Astro Pig. I have two podcasts lined up, uh, two interviews, uh, one uh, tomorrow, one on Wednesday, both with independent creators who I think are working at a pretty high level and have a lot to offer. Um, so I'll definitely be doing those, and I will definitely continue to work on Astro Pig, yeah. But I don't, I don't know if I can do a solid goal. That kind of sucks. I feel like I should have more solid, more outline or more uh, specific goals per week to to achieve. I don't know. Maybe I'm copping out. I'll have to think about this or maybe do a thought stream blog because I can't process it all right now. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, the tools I'm using. I'm going to skip that. Um, nothing really jumps out at me this week, and I want to try and keep this uh, a little bit shorter anyways. Who's following me? I don't think I've said this person before, but I should have. It's at Splaff Olympics. I don't think I've said his name before. Splaff Olympics is a very engaged follower, which hopefully you guys know I love. Um, lots of positive, just lots of positivity from this guy. Um, you can really feel it like he's really into into what I'm doing. And that's just tremendous for me. It means a lot, really engaged. Uh, he, when I first posted something for Astro pig, I asked people to, to ask their children what they thought of it. And I haven't done that since, but when I posted my last uh, double page spread of the cloud area, he asked, he asked his kids what they thought of it and left me a comment saying that they approved. And I, I didn't even ask him to do that. Like he, you know, you, you asked Splash Olympics, you did that, man. And that was really cool. And it reminded me that that's something that I want. I want kids feedback, not just my followers feedback. So super cool follower, man. Just very supportive. I, I want you to know how much it means to me. So thank you for, for being that, that fan, that follower. Thank you. So last week, the lab five weekly challenge was to do June tune. I did Skeletor and Gem. Skeletor, like I said, I had a lot of fun with. It was a great release for what I was feeling in that moment. And Gem was, I won't say fun. It was hard. It was a challenge because I don't draw girls, females very well. And I don't feel confident there. I think that's maybe that's why it's so hard is I don't feel confident. Um, I also know I, 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 I draw from emotion. Uh, I don't. I don't know what girls feel. <laughs> uh, well, specifically, I mean, I do. They have the same feelings as we do. I, I know that. <laughs> as guys do, right? But um, I wanted to draw, like, the girl next door, innocent kind of face. That, I don't know what that feels like. I don't know how to draw a cutesy, but also pretty girl next door kind of thing. So that's what I was going for. Um, it didn't come out naturally. That's not me. <laughs> now, if she was angry and had like horns, I could do that. <laughs> or even like white eyeballs with, you know, just white, just white eyes, like storm or something. I could do that. Maybe that's what I should do from now on. So let's see what the, let's hear what the lab five weekly challenge is this week. 
Hey J Primecast listeners, it's Luke here with the weekly challenge. Not really going to do anything new this week. Um, I've been pretty busy, unfortunately, so apologies for being slack. But uh, I think we'll continue with June Tune just because it's a month long initiative and our community's already been reasonably involved with it. So keep up your June Tunes or chuck in if you feel up to it and support our Harold George. And that's about it for this week. Thank you, Luke. I definitely accept the challenge. I think it's a good idea. The um, Astro Pig will return to its rightful place as my priority for the week. But um, the June Tune sketches will be a good balance to it, a good way to cleanse my creative palette. So thank you. Challenge accepted. All right. The JP Weekly Freebie. I think that's the first time I've pronounced that correctly this entire time in the first try. This is a uh, free pick from ComicCentral.com. If you go there, they have a free section. Each week I pick from them to um, or from the free comics, something that I think is uh, worth reading. Uh, if you go there, you'll get to see new stories, new art, new creators. I mean, and it's all free. You can't go wrong. Usually they're pretty short or, you know, one uh, like a preview issue or something like that. Or even like a number one that's for free. Um, but not all the time. So uh, like a couple of weeks ago, I did the white room of the asylum, which was unbelievable. And it was a huge, like 150 page comic for free. And it was really good. And this week <clears throat> is the same creator, Luke Melia. I did a interview with him actually this past week about writing, which was different for me. But uh, anyhow, Tales from the Dream Space. That's what it's called uh, on Comic Central in the free section. Tales from the Dream Space. It's another um, like horror uh, anthology kind of thing. Uh, I haven't read the whole thing. That's how big it is. But what I have read is unbelievable. I'm about about halfway through it, and hopefully uh, finish that up this week if I ever have time to just read. But uh, yeah, Tales from the Dream Space from Luke Melia. This dude's a legit writer. I, I love his style. It's it's a pretty unpredictable, uh, mind altering kind of thing. All right, so that's that's it for this week. If you're listening still, you definitely belong in the J Primecast community. It's by invite only, and I have no idea who you are. So you need to DM me or email me, Justin Prime at yahoo.com, and let me know that you want in. There's great uh, support there for beginners, just like you and me. I consider myself a beginner. There's practical advice, feedback from other independents, inspiration, motivation, collaboration, and more. There's no cost. It's just good times. So let me know. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm short on breath here at this point. Uh, let me know if you want in and you are in. All I want is for you to be serious about growing as an artist and uh, being a part of the community. So thank you very much for listening. Until next week. I would have waited an eternity for this. It's over, Prime.